You may have heard that CNET has begun doing appliance reviews. It's true. We don't focus on how the zucchini fares in the crisper, but how well these appliances are getting connected and smart. And it's about time. Basically a socket that you can power on and off with your smartphone. And that's a really cool thing because you can plug anything into it and then make that into a remotely controlled device. So if you wanted your porch light to come on at 6 p.m. for you to come home, it'll be there on waiting for you. The HomeBot is a really smart vacuum. It's got this camera on the top that is taking dozens and dozens of photographs and this helps it navigate and tell where it is, where it's been, and where it's going to go. But now we get to the high water mark of this refrigerator, which is the LCD screen that Samsung includes above the ice and water dispenser. One of the things I really like about it is that when you have it just in home screen mode, it'll tell you the exact temperatures of the insides of both your freezer and your refrigerator, so that if there is a problem and you've lost power to one, you can always tell. Now, to my mind, we're seeing three big changes around the landscape of smart appliances compared to 10 years ago when they first began to emerge. The first is the mobile ecosystem. Everything ties back to our phones and tablets these days persistently. And smart appliances will be no different. That gives them a more persistent presence in our lives. It also helps to make them more personal and less like, well, appliances. The second one is less pie, pie in the sky. No one's talking so much anymore about the internet fridge replacing your computer, perhaps. Now it's a more practical vision, like a dryer that will message your phone when it's time to get the clothes out before they wrinkle. And then there's cloud smarts. Look at something like the Nest thermostat. Most of its goodness actually comes from its cloud back end. The data, the history, the processing and software that's out there behind it, not stuck on the wall. I'm also watching this sort of wildcard area around replacement cycles of white goods or major appliances. Most of us are happy if the thing just works and dread replacing one, getting the old one taken out and the new one brought in and installed. Mobile devices, laptops, never had to go through that kind of friction. I also want to see how well these major appliance brands can morph themselves into tech and lifestyle brands. This is new territory for them.